ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته with a beautiful day friday morning uh, going with you for few inshallah to show you the greatness of Islam and the truthfulness of Islam and the authenticity of Islam. Who doesn't know Abu Lahab? Abu Lahab, the uncle of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is also a chief of Quraysh. He was so happy when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born. He was so happy to the point that he freed a slave, Thuwaybah. He freed her because, or to show and reflect the happiness of the coming of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then time passed and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam received the revelation. So he called his relatives and he proclaimed to them that he is a prophet. He's a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First thing he said, Abu Lahab, Tubbalak, Ali hadha jama'atana. It's a very bad word. It's like saying, you know what I mean, perish. Go and die. Get out of here. However you want to say it, however you want to put it, he did not like it a bit. And from that time, he became a staunch enemy of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. He fought him and opposed him in everything he can. To the point that he used to follow him Whenever he talks to someone, he immediately goes to that person and tells him what did he say, and he completely tells the person the complete opposite. If he tells him night, he tells him day. If he tells him right, he tells him wrong. Everywhere he goes, he is after him, proving that or trying to prove that he's a liar. So when he was gathered, when he came, to listen to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he told him to Balak, you may perish for that you gathered us because he was a worshiper of idols and he loves worshiping idols and he defend them with everything he can so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed a surah called al masad this surah in it says Tabbat yada Abi Lahab wa tab. May Abu Lahab perish. Ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab. What good did his wealth and fame do to him? Sayasla naran that alahab. He is destined to be in hell. Wow, that's a tough one. Abu Lahab, you and I know that all it takes to go to heaven is to proclaim the testimony of faith sincerely of course but you can still be considered a muslim to everyone and treated like a muslim even if you don't believe in it and you just simply say it ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh you say i bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah and Prophet Muhammad or Muhammad is the true prophet, messenger and slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You say that, believing in it, you go to heaven. If you don't believe in it, like you are a hypocrite, you don't mean it, then you are considered a Muslim, but the day of judgment, you go to the bottom of hellfire. So Abu Lahab, when that verse or that surah came to tell him, you're going to hell, guess what? He lived 
10 years after that, 10 years, and he was dying to prove Muhammad وسلم, wrong. All he has to do is to say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. That's all he has to say. Gather people and tell him, guys, he said, if you say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, you're a Muslim. And if you're a Muslim, you go to heaven. And now he destined me to hell in this so-called Quran that he says it's revelation from God. Well, guess what? Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Boom. Had he said that, he would have ruined the whole message and prove that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not a true messenger and the Quran is not from Allah. It's not a revelation. It's his make or whatever they used to claim. Ten years he could not say that. You know why? Because it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who knows the past, the present, and the future. And he knows Abu Lahab will not accept Islam or say the testimony of faith even if he lived a hundred years. And he never did. Now, you still have any doubts? We'll get you. I challenge Sheikh Ibrahim Dirmelli to come up with something to prove the truthfulness of Islam. Sheikh Dr. Ibrahim Dirmelli, my beloved Sheikh, I challenge him to come up with anything to prove the truthfulness of Islam. Jazakumullahu khayran. Thank you, Sister Ruba, for the challenge. I hope I met the criteria of the challenge. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu alayk. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.